Hello, everyone. I'm Riley Dickens with Encryption Consultant, and today we'll be exploring PKI architectures. This video will introduce you to public key infrastructure architectures, including the three different types, single tier, two tier, and three tier. We will also take a look at how you can determine your organization's best PKI hierarchy. When talking about public key infrastructure hierarchies, there are three models we think of, the single tier, the two tier, and the three tier. These hierarchy models are all used for different purposes depending on an organization's needs. The first model we'll take a look at is the single tier. This tier is made up of only one CA, the root CA. This certificate authority acts as the root and issuing CA in the organization, and thus must be kept online. The reason other models keep it offline is due to its role as the center of trust in a PKI. If the root certificate authority is compromised, so are all of its certificates. For this reason, the single tier PKI hierarchy should only be used for important projects where the public key infrastructure is only around for a short period of time. A single tier PKI should never be used in a production environment. The two tier model is the architecture referenced in all of our previous videos. This model is made up of an issuing and root certificate authority. This is the most commonly used model as it is safer than a single tier and less complicated than the three tier. This model keeps the root CA securely offline while all issuing CAs are kept online. The final model is the three tier model. This model is made up of an offline group and online issuing CAs with intermediary certificate authorities called policy CAs in between. The policy CA acts as a guide to the issuing CA by ensuring certain criteria are met by the certificate requesters. An example would be that issuing CA1 needs a requester to appear in person, while CAs 2 and 3 only authenticate users with level 3 security. This architecture model is used in situations where CAs need restrictions set in place for requesters. Now that we know the different types of models, how do you pick your organization's model? To determine your PKI architecture, you must take into account the level of security and performance needed from the PKI, whether your operations will be manual or automated, and what type of model you will design your PKI to follow. The model I'm referring to here is slightly different from the PKI architecture. Some example model types could be splitting the CAs into different business sectors or setting up certificate authorities based on network location. The final step in determining your PKI architecture is finding the number of CAs you need. You can estimate this by analyzing the size of your organization, the geographic spread of your organization, the technical requirements needed to apply for a certificate, along with a few other factors. That's all I have on PKI architectures today, but visit our website learn.encryptionconsulting.com to learn more about PKI or watch one of our other videos on PKI and the components that make it up.